you talked about stress a little bit. Fatigue and stress are something that I think most people feel on a daily basis, sometimes more than they should in a day. How big of a problem is that? I would consider that stress is probably public enemy number one. Mm -hmm. And the number one side effect, in my humble opinion, of stress is fatigue. Uh, probably number two is going to be anxiety or depression or just a general sense of I'm not well. Um, one of the things I ask my clients is on a scale of one to ten, vitality score, ten being I can't imagine doing anything more than I do or feeling any better than I do, one being I can't imagine feeling any worse than mm -hmm. I do, where are you at? Uh, the number one answer is in a range of four to six. This is interesting, even in young people in their 20s that I ask this question to, they do not have robust health and they don't even really know what the word vitality means. Sure. So vitality to me is being able to do whatever it is you want to do, or vitality might be considered you have the physical or physiologic resources to be able to do whatever it is you want. Americans don't think about that, we're mm -hmm. just getting by. So stress and fatigue are the number one way that I can communicate the message of well-being or wellness to people because everybody gets it. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the driving forces behind why I left OBGYN. I was just burned out. I had a sick wife. My patients were struggling with these things. And I knew that the, horm the, the birth control pills and the hysterectomies and the antidepressants did not do the job.